Hey guys, Shotzi Phillips with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Shambio today. Thank you to go out Jason to come out Jason things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, some of the big things that are coming out is the film Nope. Uh, that one's coming out today. Also the film uh, The Invitation, that was releasing today as well. I think there's also a couple of smaller movies as well that are coming out, which I think should be at Walmart. So we'll see uh, if those ones are out as well. Also though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD Blu-ray and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video as well. And as always too, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4K that are viewed if you guys have seen them what you guys thought of them and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into target we go and somehow i totally missed i was just looking online i saw there's going to be a um a nope steelbook uh best buy exclusive steelbook so there is going to be an exclusive for that one because there has been exclusives for uh the past movies that um you know, Jordan Peele has directed. I remember there was one for, I think there was one for Get Out and Us as well. But yeah, that is going to be exclusive, you know, Best Buy exclusive for that one. I don't know if there's going to be anything else exclusive for it. Like, sometimes I've seen Walmart have exclusives for stuff, so we'll see if they have anything exclusive uh, there for that. Hopefully, though, this Target has this stuff on the shelves today. This this particular location has kind of been, like, really bad lately, and it's been like that for a while. But what's weird was, last Tuesday, they had everything out, and then Walmart was just like Target had nothing out, nothing what Whatsoever. So we'll see if maybe it's the same or they're going to flip and flop every week. It's like some weeks Target has absolutely nothing out and Walmart has everything. And then some weeks Walmart has everything and Target has nothing whatsoever. So we shall see, uh, you know, um, this, you know, Nope is a pretty big movie. So I feel like it should be out today. They should have stocked it, but we shall see. But yeah, taking a look though over here though, I, I mentioned last Tuesday that they, they switched this out to a different type of uh, shelf and stuff like that, but nothing new from this week on here. What's funny is I was at one Target and they were kind of using this for books and not movies at all. So it was all books and stuff like that on it. But we'll head over to the actual section though and fingers crossed, hopefully some of the stuff is out over there, but we shall see though, we shall see. Yeah, and just like that, we're leaving the store. Absolutely nothing in there. They didn't change the section whatsoever. It was kind of like one of those Tuesdays where they forgot that it was a Tuesday, and it was just all the stuff from last week. So, so yeah, absolutely nothing out today, you know, whatsoever. But we will go to the Walmart and see if this location put the stuff out. I don't know if I'm going to go to any other targets today or not. I might, depending on what area I go to and stuff like that. So we shall see, but we're head though to the Walmart and hopefully this location has everything out today. Cause like I said, last Tuesday, they didn't switch anything out whatsoever. And maybe it's going to be the same boat and both Target and Walmart are going to become the kings now of not stocking anything. <laughs> but we shall see though, head over there and then maybe head to another a Target too, just to see. Because like I said, I don't know if there's anything exclusive for um, no open Target or not. Into Walmart we go. Well, I have not peeked yet, so we're gonna head back and see. Let's see, you can kind of like peek through here and you kind of get a glimpse of the good or bad news. Let's see. Okay, well, I, no, I'm seeing some stuff. It looks like they actually did uh, put the new things out. I see some empty spaces, but the new things are out. So the main stuff like Nope, they have the Blu-ray. I don't see the 4K of Nope. I don't see a spot for it though. Maybe they're not gonna have the 4K in here because normally you'd see like a spot. It's you just see two DVDs next to each other. So maybe by mistake, they put two DVDs instead of putting the 4K, but it's $22.99 for the Blu-ray, uh, $17.96 for the, um, the DVD of that one. I really like this movie. I think this is definitely worth checking out. And, you know, it's cool, so cool, too, to see, like, uh, a movie like this shot on the IMAX. is one of the first horror movies. I think it was the first horror film to shoot on an IMAX camera. And then they have the invitation here. That's uh, 1996 for the Blu-ray, 1796 for the DVD. Now, the DVD, though, uh, keep in mind, though, that only has the PG-13 version. If you want the unrated version, that's only on the Blu-ray for that one. This one breaking. I don't know what that was. I think that was today, though. And then I see a couple other things like Castle Heart, 5 Minutes opened by Christmas. I think a bunch of Christmas ones came out today, but we are gonna go to the other uh, Walmart though, and we'll see though if they have them out over there. Let's see though in here, anything else different mixed in in here. Usually they would be in this spot. So I see stuff up here like Barbarians, that was last week or week or two back, but I'm not seeing anything else new right in here. This is it kind of picked over in this spot. Let's see in this vicinity. This one here, Trader Within, maybe that was kind of recently uh this one i know was last tuesday i didn't see that on the shelf last tuesday this one called the possessed if you guys have seen that one let me know how that one was though other than that though i do see something else over here this one here a uh, blade of the 47 ronin that one over here i believe that was also today as well though. into the second walmart we go yeah i was coming in here and i noticed though 
in the corner. I, hopefully that's not like a bad sign because I meant there's like a million boxes back here. See like all those boxes of movies and stuff like that. So like I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's not like the stuff isn't out. So let's see. Let's hope everything for today was put on the shelf because when you see all those boxes like that, sometimes that's a bad sign. But no, luckily enough, it looks like I'm seeing everything out in here. So let's see. I'm seeing one thing too I didn't know came out. Uh, today I, I, that, that thing i was wondering about but they do have no peer but i'm not seeing the 4k so it's really strange it's like maybe they're not going to have the 4k of this one it's funny too seeing collector's edition on the top of a, of a dvd like this you don't normally see it like that on a dvd i'm it's a, sort of throwing me off a little bit to see that you don't that's kind of a weird thing to see so let's see other than that though this one that came out today uh breaking this one i have to read about this one I think I might have seen the trailer for it and looked pretty good for this one. I might end up getting this one. I don't know. If you guys have seen this one, though, let me know if this one's worth picking up. Uh, this one's $16.96 for the Blu-ray, $9.96 for the DVD of that one. Other than that, though, I'm trying to see if there's anything else mixed in here. Not see, like They have a bunch of stuff, ads for, like, Christmas countdown. So, oh, yeah, so these are the Christmas ones. So it's a bunch of, like, uh, Lacey Cabaret movies, like Christmas at Castle Heart these type of ones i really do want to do a kind of a parody on some of these kind of movies to be honest with you guys i've been thinking about a lot of ideas for these type of things christmas contest pair a uh, five more minutes uh open for uh christmas and then you me and the christmas trees that has um you know winnie cooper in that one let's see though anything else over here just the same stuff let's check over here on the side though to see anything new over here though all these things are the same here. Let's take a look over here. Uh, this Bitcoin was out last week. This is the other one that I saw. Uh, this Possessed, I saw on the shelf. It looks kind of freaky, this Possessed one. I know there's a Blu-ray of it, though. So this is one of those ones I kind of would rather wait to get the Blu-ray of this one. But if you guys have seen this one, though, let me know how this one was. But it looks kind of cool from the back. But I'd rather get the Blu-ray for that, though. Let's see, though, anything else mixed in here. You always have to really look, because sometimes they kind of, like, randomly have, like, one random, like, one-off thing, like, down there. And I don't know why. Let's see. Anything else over here that I'm seeing? No. Like, uh, there's, like, not much today here besides those main ones. Let me see. Is there anything else mixed in down here? No, not seeing anything mixed down here either. So that seems to be all the main uh, new ones here today, though, that I can see, though. Into Best Buy we go. And I can't remember if I mentioned, though, but I didn't end up going to the other Target, though. The traffic is, like, intense. You can kind of see, you know, already on the road back there. You can see it's, like, kind of going with real traffic. So I'm like, ah, didn't want to go to the other Target. But fingers crossed, hopefully they still have one of the Nope Steelbooks in here. Because I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to Best Buy. We're going to take a look here and see what they have, though. And I do see, yep, it's already gone. I see the Nope. So it's $34.99 for the uh, Steelbook. But the standard uh, Blu-ray is $22.99 and then $27.99 for the 4K of that one. One. But yeah, it looks like the 4K sold out uh, for Nope. Let's take a look though over here on the side just to make sure. I always check here because you never know. Sometimes there's random things there. So let's see anything else different. They still have some of the Thor Steelbooks. These have been out for a couple weeks now. Uh, that was last Tuesday, the Bodies, Bodies, Bodies movie. Other than that, though, I don't see anything else new over here. This one, though, is this is a new one. This Blades of the 47 Ronin is this. I guess this is like a direct to video sequel or something to 47 Ronin. Like, I didn't even know they were making this. This thing kind of came out of nowhere. It's always weird when like these kind of movies like literally come out of nowhere. Uh, and there's there's uh, Titans, the complete third season. That one's uh, $23.99 for the 4K. There's a Catch Me If You Can steelbook. That's kind of interesting. Uh, that's sold out, though. This one was last Tuesday. If, if this is worth getting, though, let me know, guys, if I should pick this one up or not. Uh, but other than that, though, Rumble was last Tuesday. Um, I got this one today to, to review. I think I don't know if this was this week or a week or two back, The Kill a Mockingbird, the 60th anniversary uh, 4K. But that's $21.99 for that one. Other than that, I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing else mixed in. They do have this one, which I'm really wondering about this movie, this uh, breaking movie. I have to... If this one is good worth checking out or not like i said like let me know guys if i should pick this one up or not uh and then they have the invitation here for 23.99 for the blu-ray of that one and then they do have a, a, a return living dead which i showed that one last tuesday I'm trying to make sure there's nothing i'm missing they do have this thing here too which is a um jordan peele three movie collection it's 34.99 so it has nope us and get out so that's really cool uh, all of them together in this set 
and are all great movies if you guys have not seen uh, any of those ones. But other than that, though, that seems to be all the main new things here today, though, that I see. But anyway, though, guys, that was off my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, uh, definitely give this, give this video a thumbs up. Also, though, let me know, though, anything new that you guys have watched on streaming, anything new if you guys went to the theaters and saw anything new as well, or anything new that you guys picked up on DVD or Blu-ray uh, 4K today uh, as well. But anyway, though, guys, like I always say, if you guys enjoy, these, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one I got here is from Lionsgate. It's also from A24. This is the 4K Ultra HD edition, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital copy of the film uh, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. For some reason, I was originally convinced this movie was called Bodies, Bodies Everywhere. I don't have any idea where I came up with that title or why I was thinking that was a title, but for some reason, I was like totally convinced that's what this movie was called. But this one stars Pete Davidson. Uh, the other actress in here, uh, she was from... Um, the new Borat film. Uh, she plays Borat's daughter. Uh, she's in the film uh, as well. Uh, basically, though, this is about like... Um a group of these friends who were all together. It was kind of one of the funny thing too is like there was one guy that was like like way older. It was like, what is this older guy doing in the group? Like he just seemed so much older than everybody else. And basically though, they were all together, kind of like hanging out, kind of like at this sort of party at the house and everything. And they end up playing that game like Bodies, Bodies, kind of like a clue type game. And basically though, what ends up happening though is it's kind of like, you know, it starts off as like playing this game about, you know, you know when someone like the lights turn off and then they, they turn back on, the person's down on the ground. It's kind of, you know, you kind of have to figure out who you know who done it kind of thing but essentially though when they're playing this game then all of a sudden things actually get real and it's kind of becomes this whole big thing of problem after problem after problem a very very fun movie uh, this one has on here though uh feature wise has a commentary track on here with the director it has on here a making of on here as well as deleted scenes on this one as well the next one here this one is from uh, sony and i also do have a um a shirt as well for this one to show you guys uh they sent over a t-shirt for the movie uh as well it's for the film uh, Bullet Train here. This is a really cool uh, t-shirt for this one. Let's see. Let me show you this shirt here for this. But they sent over a, a t-shirt for the film Bullet Train as well. But this, like I said, this one here is uh, Bullet Train. There's also a little sticker in there as well. But like I said, this is the 4K Ultra HD edition of the film Bullet Train. This is an interesting movie. This is a little, it reminded me a little bit of the one, was it Snowpiercer a little bit too? Uh, that Because that was one that was like all on, on the train kind of thing. It's not like that same type of vibe exactly, but like kind of the same thing because it was like intense stuff going on the train and everything. And basically, Brad Pitt's character is like this assassin who's on the train. He's kind of there for these specific targets that he's trying to take out, but it's it basically becomes like there's all these bad guys on the train together. So it becomes kind of like all these different kind of problems that he's going through and it's kind of like different battles and stuff like that. It's an interesting kind of ha too to have it like all on the train like this. The other movie that was all on the train was um what was the one the 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 zombie movie that was all on the train. I'm blanking on the name for some reason right now. But like I don't know. I, I like like one setting kind of movies like that too. But this one has on here though, feature wise, it has over an hour of um, extras, including outtakes and bloopers. So it has some featurettes on here, a filmmaker commentary track on here, scene select stunt uh, on here about the stunts on here, some featurettes on the stunts here as well. Uh, you know, interviews on here uh, as well for this one. The other one here, this is from Sony as well, and this is one here, and this includes the um, the unrated version as well as the theatrical version of the movie, because when it came out to um, theaters, it was rated PG-13, this movie here called The Inv In the Invitation. I'm glad that, you know, that that's happening now, too, is when a movie gets kind of cut down to, you know, for theaters to be a PG-13, I'm glad that, you know, more more often now we're getting the, the uncut version of things, because there, there's a period of time, too, when there's, like, certain movies, like, when they, like, kind of would get cut, and then they would, you'd never see the uncut version. It's kind of like, there's certain movies like that that I feel like we'll never see like just off totally offhand I don't know if any of you guys remember Rob Zombie was always talking about the uncut version of House of a Thousand Corpses but he never ever wanted to recut it to do, to do it but it was one of those things he doesn't do it anymore but if you guys remember he used to always tease about that uncut House of a Thousand Corpses someday you'll see it you won't believe what was cut you never got to see that maybe someday he'll get very bored and do it I don't know but we're not talking about that now we're talking the invitation but like I said I'm glad that we're seeing you know the uncut versions more often now. But basically, though, this is about this girl who comes to find out about her other family. And kind of like in, in, in the English countryside, it's basically she kind of goes out there to see this family. And it's kind of like this these weird sort of people that are like kind of this weird thing when she gets there. And she's there for this wedding and everything. And you, you know it's never a good thing when you're like seeing people you don't know and the whole thing. And basically, though, it becomes this whole really weird thing of what happens while she's there with these relatives. And just it's a very it's actually a pretty cool movie. It has on here, though, like I said, the unrated cut. The 
deleted and extended scenes on here, outtakes and bloopers, behind the scenes featurettes as well uh, on this one. The other one here, this is from Universal, and this is a movie which stars Joe Coy called Easter Sunday. This is a fun movie. This is basically, though, kind of all about, like, the family coming together, you know, for, for Easter celebration. It's basically, though, just kind of, it almost kind of has, like, the vibe of, like, the family films, like, My Big Fat Greek Wedding and, like, those type of movies where it's kind of, like, kind of all people kind of coming together and they're having, like, little clashes with each other about certain things and there's certain people that don't get along with each other and then, like, people that haven't seen each other for a long period of time so then they're having all kind of problems with each other. So stuff like that. Just a very, very fun uh, movie here. But it has on here, though, feature-wise, has a gag reel and deleted scenes on here uh, as well on this one. The next one here, and I actually had a full unboxing for this one. If you guys haven't seen it, I, I put that up, um, you know, over the weekend. Same with the unboxing for the Sony collection. If you guys didn't see that as well, I put that up. I'll show you guys, though. Uh, this was the one that I did the unboxing of, too. These were two unboxing ones. The Sony collection. If you guys haven't seen that, though, I did an unboxing video for this one, and I'll have a link for that one, you know, in the description so you guys can see that. But then the other one, too, was E.T., the extraterrestrial, uh, the 4K Ultra HD edition. I did an unboxing of this one here as well. But this one has on here, though, over four hours of bonus features, 40 years of E.T., the all-new retrospective on here of the film's legacy on here, as well as Turner Classic Movies, a classic film festival, and Evening of Steven Spielberg on here as well. Those are the new things on here, but really great movie. If you guys have never seen E.T., I feel like it's one of those things you just have got to watch this movie. And also, too, if you've never seen it, watch it for the first time on 4K, though. One of the other ones here from Universal as well is a really cool 4K collection. And this is, I, there's been, there was one other collection, I believe, that they put out. I, I, maybe two. I, I know one for sure, though. But this is the Universal Classic um, Monsters Collection. It's Icons of Horror Collection. And maybe maybe I'm wrong and there wasn't other ones, but I think there was. But this one has on here, though, four different movies. And that's Iconic Monsters. So it has on here The Mummy. Uh, it has The Bride of Frankenstein, The Phantom of the Opera, and The Creature of the Black Lagoon on here as well. And then on here, though, it has behind-the-scenes documentaries, feature commentaries, production photographs, theatrical trailers on here. I'll show you guys, though, a look inside at this one. So here's for the, um, the, um, the, 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 the inside the images. So here's the, um, what was this one? The Mummy right here. It has, like, the date, 1932. And the disc is in here like this. So it's the Blu-rays here. And then the 4K is here. So this is The Bride of Frankenstein here. Uh, the Phantom of the Opera. And then the Creature of the Black Lagoon. Probably that, I would say Creature of the Black Lagoon out of all of them is my favorite one. Like that, I don't know. I, for some reason, I always liked that movie and it always really creeped me out for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about that movie, but that, that was like one of the ones that I always remember seeing first. The other one from Universal is the new Idris Elba movie, Beast. And this is basically about him and his family going on this trip to South Africa. And basically though, it's kind of one of those like game reservoirs that you kind of can go through and see the animals and stuff like that. But it's one of those areas though that really is kind of closed to the public. So you, you kind of have to have special clearances to go into it. But of course, though, they end up going out there. And it's, it kind of, this movie deals a lot with poachers. And every time, I don't know if any of you guys are the same way, but anytime I think of poachers, I think of poachers. And I think of the, um, the, the Kiljaman Safari ride in, um, you know, uh, Animal Kingdom. I don't know what it is with me. I'm like so, like, anytime I think of poachers and I think of like, you know, going out to Africa and stuff, I always think of that ride because I, as a kid too, I used to always love that. Well, I guess I was a kid more like in, in middle school early middle school or sixth grade maybe or fifth grade when that ride opened but I always remember that you know Little Red how's Little Red doing so I always I always loved I, I love that ride and then they changed it and got rid of the Little Red thing and all that kind of stuff and then the guy too who like was in the introduction of the ride was the same guy who was in the Greasy Strangler who's like what kind of chips are those so I, it's one of those weird 360 weird things but I always I don't know I always think of that ride but this is basically very intense, and him and his family end up getting trapped out there. Something happens with the car, and they end up getting trapped out there with this, you know, this lion that's out there. It's a, it's a lion or a tiger. I'm mixing it up. I think it's a lion, and basically it becomes this living nightmare. It's kind of like a Cujo kind of thing, but there's a whole lot more to it, though. It's very, very intense. The other one here is from Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy. This one, the late guys know this one is available. This is the complete third season here of the show Titans here. And this has the Blu-ray and then the digital copy of the show uh, on here. And I'll show you guys though a look inside here uh, as well. 
Here's a look though inside of the discs for this one. And like I said, it has a digital copy. And then on here, feature wise, this has training to be a, a couple different featurettes on here uh, as well uh, for this one here. The other one here, this is from uh, Kino Larber. And this is a really cool 4K release. And I'm hoping now too, since we're getting a 4K of this film, maybe we'll get one of the uh, of my personal favorite Brian De Palma film, uh, Body Double. That's one that I'm like hoping now that we're we'll gonna get a 4K of. I'm hoping. I, I feel like there's a good chance that it could happen. Um, maybe, maybe Kino will do it. I'm like, it's like a fingers crossed thing because that's like an absolutely amazing movie. Dressed to Kill though is just as cool. I remember seeing this movie back in the day. I think I saw like a Good Times like DVD of it or a Good Times VHS. I don't know if you guys remember that, but back in the day, Good Times would release certain things and like every so often they would be like the censored versions of movies. So like Cujo, I remember being censored. They like edited out the bad words. I think Dressed to Kill might have had a censored cut. There was a censored cut of the movie Magic. If you guys remember that movie, there was a censored version of that and they never said it on the box or anything like that. So it's one of those weird things that I always remember for all those Kmart versions of movies that I would buy. Kmart was the place that always had the good times, but this is a great movie. Uh, really great, like, thriller kind of movie, like a whodunit kind of thing. Uh, I, I don't I really like De Palma's movies. Like, it's like, I, I guess either you really like his movies or you really don't, I feel like. And I, I love his movies. Body Double, though, is still my favorite. That's like, to this day, I think Body Double is probably like in my top ten movies. I don't know what it is about that movie. Just the vibe of it, the everything in it to me really works. This one has on here though feature wise has a comedy track on here a film critic and an author Maitland McDonald has strictly business an interview with Nancy Allen on here a bunch of other interviews has a 2012 interview on here with the producer has the unrated version the r-rated version the tv rated version comparison on here so it kind of compares the different versions of the movie uh, as well on this one the other one here, uh, this is from MovieZing.com, and I have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price. And this is a collection here. This is the Good Witch uh, Collection, the complete series. Now, this so this has all seven se seasons of the show. And I might be wrong, but I think that this started as like a... Um, it, 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 like was it I think it started maybe as movies at first and then like went into a TV series or maybe it was the TV series first and then the movies I'm not sure I know though I, I might be totally wrong about this but there's a show that I really like called Carnival Eats and it kind of goes to like carnivals and stuff like that and I believe the one actor from Carnival Eats was actually in some episodes of this show like I well, I think I, and I also think he hosts like The Bachelorette in Canada or something like that like he's not the kind of guy you think would be doing that but it's kind of funny because I, I don't know I like the guy he's like funny uh the other ones here um, are from um, from um, you know MVD, and there's a couple of different MVD Rewind collection releases here. This is one that I love. This movie with Sean Penn and Christopher Walken uh, at close range. If you guys have never seen this movie though, this is an absolute must watch. It's about Sean Penn's character and kind of like all these problems with his father, and then he meets this girl that he likes, and it's just kind of him trying to kind of get away from his father and the the bad stuff that his father's doing with like you know. Um, stealing things and all this kind of bad stuff. He's been in and out of prison. It's a great movie. It's one of those movies that you don't hear about enough. Madonna, you know, song is in here too. Uh, just a really, really good movie. It has on here though, on this one, isolated score track. Com uh, has a theatrical trailer on here, comedy track on here with James Foley. Uh, hosted by film historian Nick uh, Redman on here uh, as well. And also, too, it does have um, reversible artwork in here. So it has different artwork in here and also a mini uh, poster as well uh, for the film. Like I said, though, if you guys have never seen this one, this is an absolute must like, pick up. I, I think you guys really, really would like this one. Uh, the other one here, this is a fun movie. I'm glad to see this one getting a Blu-ray release uh, finally, is one here called Ski Patrol. And this is one I remember like renting back in the day, you know, from Blockbuster, you know, really early on. On. Oh, it's funny, the producer on here, like, uh, it, uh, Philip was a producer on, um, uh, Shark House, so that's cool. But this is a movie, like I said, here called Ski Patrol, and basically, though, this is in the, uh, MVD Rewind, uh, collection here as well. So this one, I, I love the cover on this, because it's really, really aged up even more so, and they kind of put, like, stuff on here, like, stickers on here, give it, like, in the comedy sticker. I don't know, very, very cool. Here's a look, though, inside here, uh, as well. So here's a look at the reversible artwork for this one and then a mini poster as well for the movie. So it's cool too. I don't know, a really, really cool one. Kind of like, they made a lot of different movies kind of like this at, at the time. They did like Hot Dog the Movie and a handful of other ones. Uh, the other one here is from MVD as well. And this is um, Wendy O. Williams, uh, live uh, and F and Loud from London here. So they're going to say one late guys on this one uh, was available here. And the other one here from MVD is a movie I want to let you guys know was available called Solo. And this was another one that's available as well uh, from MVD. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.